about this. So I got this thing and it's called a capsule holder and it holds up to 20 pods and this is going with my coffee nook. So this is the refrigerator and y'all I'm going to wipe it down and clean it but basically the capsule holder would go right here on the fridge either vertically or horizontally and then you can just grab your capsule while you make your coffee but I think I'm going to do it um, verti vertically. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to do it like that. And then also when I was getting the stuff for tacos, I picked up some of my favorite pods, which is the Starbucks Blonde Espresso Roast Pods. So, yeah, I just wanted to come and show you guys what I got. I got this up off of Amazon. So, if you guys are interested in this, I will have a link below. I put a picture on the side of the screen. Also, what it's supposed to look like. And, of course, once I put it up, I'll show y'all. That way, I can get these pods up in the holder and we can get rid of this Keurig holder. So yeah, I'm about to eat and then I'll be back when I do it. Coffee Nook is coming along. because I'm off and I'm able to just wake up slowly, enjoy a hot cup of coffee because y'all is getting cold in North Carolina. Um, but anyway, I did want to come back and just quickly um, talk a little more in depth about my um, Nespresso pot holder. So I did get this Nespresso pot holder off of Amazon. I will leave it linked below and I absolutely love it. Like it's so Stunning. So basically it comes with the sticky part and I decided to just put it on the side of the refrigerator and make like from here on like my little coffee bar. It's not done, but I have a vision now and it's coming together. So basically it has four sections where you can put pods in and you put them in from the bottom and you just push them up. Um, so basically I'm going to go to... Um, target after i get off work just to get another flavor so basically right here i have my colombiana pods and these are the 7.74 .7 ounces like a cup then i have two rolls of blonde espresso shots which y'all know i love and um they are 1.35 1.35 fluid ounces so i think i'm probably gonna get another flavor of full coffee pods the 7.7 .7 to go here but i literally love it after we leave the gym we will pop in target so that we can look at some more options and get a new flavor so this is where i'm going to keep my pods now initially i had my nespresso sitting on a keurig 
um, pod holder, but I got rid of it because we no longer have a Keurig. Um, I still have the holder just in case, but I think I'm going to try to give it away. So yeah, this will be where my pods are. Here's where I want to keep my syrups. I just don't know if I want to just keep them on the counter or if I want to get kind of like a tray to sit them on. We'll see. And then, of course, I have my Nespresso. This is the virtual. Um, and it's a little dusty. So after I get back from the gym and everything, I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to descale it and all that good stuff. But, yeah, so far, this is what it's looking like. I think I may finish this um little nook in today's video we'll see i may go by at home all right gang so we are back home and i'm super excited because i think i may have everything that's going to bring my coffee bar together or my little coffee nook because <clears throat> we don't have enough room to make a whole bar but i want just like my own little cozy corner okay so from starbucks from Starbucks from Target the first thing that I picked up were these Starbucks um veranda blend Nespresso pods and um like I said I have the Nespresso Virtro and it has eight pods this is a 7.7 .7 fluid ounce mug and I got this one because I think I like this one but I wanted to try it I saw new and I was like have I tried this before so y'all know I love coffee so yeah the notes are toasted malt and baking I'm super excited to try this one I'll probably try this one tomorrow <laughs> this is what it looks like full i'm in love y'all i am in love with this it's just so easy so cute so basically obviously you would just grab your little pie make your coffee and then you can push them down or they'll fall down and when you fill them up you just push them up and slide them in so nice so yeah this is what this is gonna look like now i picked up y'all know i already had this from target but i picked this up from ross and it's just like a tiered stand i think it was like eleven dollars $12.99 and it was originally $18. So I put this right here. And of course, I don't know if it's gonna fit yet. So I haven't taken any stickers or anything off. But I was thinking I could set my syrups up on here because I just want to have like four syrups at a time. So I was thinking I could put my syrups up here. And then maybe like something cute, like we have this little pumpkin for Dollar Tree, or maybe just the syrups. You know, I don't want to do too much. But then, so this pumpkin is questionable. Um, maybe push the serves back and put the little pumpkin right here. You know, the syrups. Maybe I can push them back like this and then just have the little pumpkin hanging. Um, so like I said, this is going to be my nook from like right here on over because obviously we may pull out that smokeless grill. We may need a prep station. So I don't want to take up this whole counter. I just want to have like a little corner. So we'll have the pods right here, which I really like because it eliminates space. So I think that that is so cool. And then, like I said, I originally had all the syrups kind of down on the counter, but I wanted them kind of elevated so they, that they could be at the same level as my Nespresso. So I think that this is really cute. I was a little skeptical but i think i like it and if i keep it of course i'll take the stickers off so i have this going right now and i'll just put this little pumpkin there but i also have this little coffee coffee container which i got from target and i was thinking should i put that up there you know i don't want it to be like too crowded so that's why i'm kind of contemplating not putting this up here 
and then i have this on the other side of the kitchen which it can stay over there because i love coffee coffee is literally gonna be everywhere in the kitchen so you know but i was kind of trying to incorporate everything coffee in this nook so i'm gonna play around with it and then last but not least y'all i found these cups i have wanted just a set of stacked matching cups for the longest time and i love these they say sugar cream milk black and it's a four-piece set got it from ross it was like six dollars and i love it i just don't know where to put it so these are all the components that i have for my coffee nook so i'm just about to play around and see y'all can let me know in the comments like what y'all think and then once i see or fix it how i like it or how i think i'm gonna keep it i'll be back so hold on all right y'all so i'm back and i forgot that i had like this white tray um so i just pulled it out to kind of see like what everything would look like so for now um what do you guys think y'all let me know because i have it set up like this which is this little pumpkin i just want to have this little pumpkin involved some way but it doesn't have to be so um i'll move it but I don't know if I'm going to keep these cups. I really want them, but I just don't want it to look like too crowded. So this is what the syrups and the cups look like on this tray. So y'all know, if you didn't watch my last video, I put all of my syrups in these um, aesthetically pleasing bottles and just put the name of what the syrup is on the bottle so that I didn't have like all those Tarani bottles and different sizes, different bottles are all just on the counter. So I got those from Amazon. I'll leave those links below. And like I said, I really love these mugs but i just don't know and then right here i still just have this tiered um little plate and i just have this little coffee or coffee thing right here so i don't know y'all y'all let me know i'm really leaning towards just having the syrups here obviously remove that sticker maybe just having the syrups here maybe over here and then maybe a mug. Let's see what a mug would look like. This is just a random mug. Mm -mm. I don't know. So yeah, y'all, y'all let me know. All right, gang. So I think I am at a very happy place right now. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did. But y'all feel free to let me know in the comments what y'all think down below. How should I mix it up? I kind of wanted to add like some greenery or a little bitty lamp you know for the aesthetics but y'all just let me know because like i said i just want a coffee corner i don't want like the whole cabinet full of coffee so um i am gonna run back out but for now i'm gonna leave it like this and i'll show y'all it in another video if i change it so for now i have my nespresso pod holder which i will link down below with my um 7.7 fluent ounces here and then my um, espresso shots here then as you move over i just i'm gonna keep the white tray so i'm gonna return i got my receipts all out i'm gonna return this little tray to ross today because i do need to run back out um so yeah i'm just gonna return this because it i just wasn't feeling it so i'm gonna return this and then i'm gonna use the tray that i already had at home and then here i just have like my four most popular serves that i use now i'm just gonna leave them on this tray and then back here i am literally in love with these gla these mugs so i'm gonna keep the mugs and then you can just grab you one and put it on an espresso and start making your coffee so um i am going to keep the mugs so you have your espresso pods grab one grab you a cup put it on an espresso machine and then you can figure out what serves you want i don't need to put my water in my espresso but like i said i'm about to clean my espresso um but yeah this is my little corner and i think it's so cute y'all let me know what you think and what should i do different like i said um of course like my cream or milk or whatever i can just get it out the refrigerator that's why i also like having it right here and then as far as this little coffee thing it typically sits right here on the other side of the kitchen in the corner with the pumpkin so i'll just leave it here and it's okay because this is for like um french press coffee so this is kind of like my nespresso nook so yeah y'all let me know what you think um it does still look a little bit crowded but so far i am liking it i may even remove two of these and just have like my most popular ones here that way i can you know pull this up a little bit so it can be seen or i may even just have one 
Mmm. I may just have one. What do y'all think? I mean, I like this, but I don't know. I'm just feeling this better. But anyway, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy setting up my coffee nook with me. I'm going to leave it like this. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little coffee nook video. I have been trying to get this nook together for a couple days now, and I am liking it. If I make any adjustments, I'll let y'all know. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, go ahead and drop the coffee cup down below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 30 of freaking Vlogtober. And then just one more day. I love y'all. Deuces.